All right, so a couple days ago, ERLC added mobile support to their um, game. And mobile is going to bring a lot of new players into the game. So I thought I might as well just help them out and give them the ultimate beginner's guide they need to start playing ERLC and get used to everything. So I guess let's just get straight into it. All right, so I think first things first, we should start by the GUIs on the screen here. Over here in the top right is where most of the things are. As you can see, we have our money here. This depends on how much money you have in the game. Usually it's about 50K if you're new. This green bar on top of your money is your health. If you get shot, this will go down and you can regenerate it by just waiting a few minutes. And under your money, you have this yellow bar, which is your stamina. So if you start sprinting, that bar will go down, as you can see. All right, so on the left side of our money, we have this like three dots kind of thing. If we click it, this brings up your menu. Here you can change your team. You can click on roleplay jobs and select all of these other jobs apart from them. You can view all the players here and what team they're on. You can buy cash here with Robux. You can join servers. We got matchmaking servers, listed servers. These are listed private servers. Usually these are all roleplay servers. Favorite servers, it's basically these servers. As you can see, if you click on a server, you can favorite it and that server will pop up here, but I have no favorite servers. This is join by code. If you didn't know, each private server has its own special code that the owner can either give. And when the owner tells you the code, you can enter it here and join their private server. Over here, we got owned servers. This is where you can see all the servers that you own. I currently own one. And lastly, we have create server. This is where you can create a server. And after you finish creating your servers, you can come back here and you'll see it in the owned servers. But you do need to pay 80 Robux for this, I believe. All right, and we've got the tutorial. This basically tells you how to do everything and what everything is. Now, under your money and um, all of this, we got some buttons. Here. The first one from the left to the right is the map button. This brings up your map here. And as you can see, it's a decently sized map. This arrow right here is where you are at. And if you change directions, this arrow will change accordingly. If you click on the show toggles, you can see you can show a bunch of things, so you can show the buildings, jobs, building numbers, bus stops, postal codes, ATMs, landmarks, and street names. I don't use any of this much just because I do know the map pretty well, but you can have it on if it does help you. Alright, second from left to right, we've got this um, little button here. This is Mafia. This is where you can start a Mafia and um basically grind together with other people if you invite someone to the mafia by clicking on their name and clicking on invite to mafia you can basically um you guys basically split the money you get by 50 50 or by quarter quarter or how many other people are in your mafia all right next to that we've got animations this is all just role play animation so we've got normal which is this hands up basically puts your hands down lay down we got sit down and kneel. All right, and last but not least, we've got settings. This is where you can change all of your settings and all of that. So you guys can have a look through that when you guys do that. All right, that's pretty much it. Down here, we've got the map. This is basically what we looked at earlier. Now the car GUIs, I'm gonna put a image up on screen. We basically got the accelerator, the brake, the turning, and if you want, we've got the blinkers down here. That's basically all you need to know about that. And speaking of cars, how do you spawn a car? Basically, you run up to one of these at civilian spawn. This is civilian spawn, by the way. But you run up to one of these and you click on it or click E spawn vehicle. And you can see all of your owned vehicles. I own a lot of them right now because I'm on my main account. But if you're probably starting you won't own any of these. So get a car for the sake of this. I'm going to just use this car here. It's the free car so you guys can get this too. And yeah, you just drive around the map. Now the dealership, it's it's pretty much pointless. It's just for roleplay purposes. All the cars in here and outside now shuffle about. So these cars might not be the same cars that you guys are seeing. The DMV over here, this was a newer addition to the game but you can come in here and you can change 
a bunch of your stuff. So if you come in here and click on edit info, you can edit your license and edit your vehicle. So if I click on edit license, you can see my name, my role play age is a senior, I'm 7 foot 11, I'm 700 pounds, and yeah, my license status is suspended. And if you click on edit vehicle, you can see all of your own vehicles and all of the um, and I just clicked on a vehicle I can change the registration status to expired and vehicle insurance to active or inactive that's basically it for the division of motor vehicles here alright moving on we have got um, a fire apparently but um, that's not the point alright so if you come down this road we've got um, channel 5 news here this is basically a civilian roleplay job you can roleplay being a news worker there and I think this would be a perfect example to show you guys um, this car here now these kinda of cars randomly appear on the side of the road and basically it will say for sale by owner these are AI generated cars and if we click on buy you can see you found a vehicle for sale this vehicle is selling for about 15 percent less than the price at the dealership or at civilian spawn so if you were to buy oh it just despawned but if you were to buy that car for um say um if you were to buy that car for say a hundred dollars right you would only have to pay what uh eighty five dollars i think that is for the car which is a pretty good deal in my opinion also while we're driving by here you can see we've got atms these atms you can come over here and buy money or if you do have the right tool you can rob this thing I have a video all about robberies and how to make a bunch of money I'll link that up in the card so you can click on that I'll link that up in the description as well this is the jewelry store you can rob this too um, you need a drill and you can rob this that is also featured in the video these kind of cops are called cuff rushers they hate role playing anyway if you come over here this is the hospital now inside the hospital you can run in and if you are damaged which I'm currently not but if you are damaged you can lay in this bed like I am right now and it'll um, heal you faster if you guys did see that I did just get a paycheck you get a paycheck around every five minutes I believe so yeah that's pretty cool this is three guys this is another roleplay job and that is taxi co that is also another roleplay job this is the city park it's it's a pretty cool place it doesn't serve any purpose other than looking nice but it does look nice this is the fire department this is where the fire team spawns and um yeah spawns all their vehicles and stuff gets geared up this is the this is the river city bank this is where um you can you can rob this that's also in my um robbery video but yeah you can rob this bank i'll i teach you how to do it over there now this is gas and go this is basically a gas station with a car wash i believe there are three gas stations around the map but yeah you park your car you get out you come up to here and it'll say pump fuel you click on it and yeah you can basically hold this and your and click on purchase and now your fuel will go up this is Chinatown this doesn't really serve much purpose it was added for Chinese New Year but you can come over here and you can buy a dragon from the dragon shop I guess for 250 bucks and now I've got a, a dragon a dragon this is Liberty Cafe this is a, another role play job you can join that and get all the money now this is very important this is called um, the mod shop here right I'ma just damage my vehicle really quickly don't don't crash your car too much because then it'll start smoking and catch on fire but yeah my car is kinda damaged right now so we're gonna go into the mod shop real quick just pull in and you should be teleported to here over here you can repair your car if it is damaged and you can change your car color uh, I'm gonna just make it that right and then I can click on purchase the rim color we've got a bunch of options here that is very very nice license plate you can basically um, change what it says and we've got the plate design so this is basically the design of the plate alright if we come over here this is um, the gun store here Liberty guns and ammo you can park up come in here and you can purchase a gun they are pretty expensive so um, do beware that 
you're going to be spending a lot of money and they do and they do get taken away if you do get arrested now some of these guns are the game pass i believe it's the big guns game pass or something like that but yeah they give you access to one two three four i think four guns all right over here i just basically came around from the gun store into here this is basically the mobile home um, neighborhood you can rob these houses and any house in the game unless they're not owned as you can see just got another paycheck here for playing the game over here is the tool store this is where you can buy all the tools needed for robbery and all of that now let's head on to here this is just a small little cabin this was added for halloween this plays no purpose other than looking good now coming along over here the jewelry store is right up there the hospital you can barely see it but if we turn here we can see that we have some more buildings over there we got the post office that's a civilian job and over here we got the police station you spawn here by going on to the police team now these little things these are actually bus stops if you join the roleplay job you can get a bus and you can drive around and um roleplay that you are picking up people which is pretty cool all right this is the power plant this play is not no purpose really this is the cargo bay also no purpose this is the three guys distribution center just for roleplay same with this just for roleplay that's also for roleplay this is the liberty county waste um center you can come in here start this job here's how you start it so you come over here to this yellow circle here you click on start job and click on that and then got it and then you can now go out and come over here and you can spawn a vehicle for this job it is a garbage truck so come out here and yeah you can get a garbage truck and this gives you job points so the more waste you collect or the more things you do you can get more job points for it and do things do things with that all right and lastly we've got the department of transportation center this is where the dot team spawns and gets ready and stuff and coming along over from the department of transportation over here we've got the liberty county jail when an officer um, arrests you, this is where you get sent. And we've got some more mobile motorhomes here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now just continue straight along this road. We've got the farms here. It has like a nice barn. It plays no purpose. You've got, got a roleplay job in there. I believe you get a tractor, but you can't really do anything with that. Here's the second um, gas station. This one, I believe, doesn't have a car wash, which is... It's okay, but yeah it doesn't have a car wash but yeah just it's just the same thing as the first one and continuing along we've got the actual housing suburbs for the city now i can come along over here say i wanted to buy this house here you can stop your car get out and you can see this for sale sign you can click on buy home and it'll cost me um a thousand four hundred and eighty dollars for 20 minutes and then you can go inside the house and role play in there but yeah that's basically it for the housing suburbs now you guys might realize there are some yellow markers over there that's because I'm on a civilian job team and and I need to collect stuff but I'm instead showing you guys a tour alright exiting out from the housing suburb we're gonna merge back onto the road with the second gas station and you can come along all the way down here this is not the highway it might be mistaken for a highway but this is not the highway the actual highway is over here the road kinda changes color and the speed limit gets increased to 75 as you can see we got river city next left it basically comes down there we've got some road attaching to it and we've got these signs here these signs can actually be changed and displayed um, by DOT these things actually display stuff and this is downtown Springfield so there's actually another town here the first town we were just taking a look at is called River City this is called Springfield so if we exit off the highway and take a left if you're coming from that way um, then take a right but if we go into here this is like a little a smaller town on the outskirts of the larger town it looks like a much older town as well but yeah we've got houses and all of that it's also the home to of the third gas station 
and this one does have a car wash got some motorhomes here not many but like there are some and yeah these all of the buildings over here are pretty much prop buildings except for a restaurant i think that's down there i think that's the only thing you can work out right now in springfield and if we come down here towards the west side we have got this building which is just for show we've got their sheriff's office this is where all the sheriffs spawn who are on the sheriff's team and we've got the springfield housing suburbs it's basically the same as the um, river city housing suburbs so i'm not really gonna waste too much time here but wait there's more there's more this game has a very large um, map so bear with me as you can see billboards are um, displaying stuff and this is the last part of the map here we've got um high rock park it says welcome to high rock park and if you come in here you can click on f to pay the toll for three bucks pretty cheap and you can go up it's basically a mountain up there's the viewing point and i just got crushed but yeah up there's the very viewing point you can take this tra off-roading trail all the way up there and you can look at stuff there are also cabins over there somewhere which you guys can take a look at now if you are wondering what this road connects up to from the highway this basically connects up to the jail road and the motorhomes over there by the farms we took a look at and all the way down there the highway does end and it goes back to the industrial area with the power plant and the dot station which is all very very nice so the map is pretty tied in here but yeah that is pretty much for it for the map here i'm gonna quickly just quit my job and reset so i can give you guys more there are a bunch more um tutorials for the teams not on the channel but like you can search them up basically if you want to join a team you click on it and you click and you enter a call sign you can do one two three or whatever and then click join and it'll appear as your call sign but yeah that is basically it for everything you need to know about erlc if you are a brand new player if you guys did enjoy it or if this did help you out then yeah consider subscribing like the video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace